Rapid Media presents Rapid Media TV. Scott McGregor here with Rapid Media TV, and I'm in the C4 Waterman booth of Outdoor Retailer with Mickey Munoz. We were chatting a little earlier off, off cam about, about this design, and, and I asked you, is it a new design? And you, you kind of said, well, not exactly. You'd been working on something for yourself. And why don't you tell me a little bit about how it came to be with C4? Well, about C4 or about the design? No, yeah. about, I guess about yeah. the design. Well, or, let's talk about that and then C4. Sure, that's right. Okay, so, um, well, the des design came about by experimenting with other boards and, and since I'm a little person and I'm not all that strong, um, I, I raced one time a, like a canoe style bowed race board and, and uh, it blew like hell that day. It was blowing probably 35 gusting over and I was okay as long as I, I was going straight into the wind but as soon as I got off a little angle, all that windage just blew me around and I'd have to go completely 180 to, or 360 to get back to weather. And so I thought, do I want to hold my hand out of the car at, at 30 miles an hour like this or like that? That was the first thing. And the other thing is, is when you hold your hand out like this, it's like, it's, it's like dictating where it's going to go. So that, that we call hunting and without steering, positive steering like you'd have in a kayak or, or a boat, say, um, that hunting you have to compensate with your paddle or your body or body weight. So I wanted to eliminate the hunting. And, and the other thing was, is again, back to the hand, holding it out here or holding it in here, I, put, I drew the thickness of the board back from the nose so one, you don't have the swing weight out there so much and you don't have the windage and you have the reserve buoyancy. So that's why the, the design looks like it, it, it is here. And so I built a race board for myself and, and I've done pretty reasonably well with it. And I'm, I'm, the way I like to design is if I'm gonna make a change, I like to make one change at a time. Otherwise, you're not really sure where you're going to yeah, go. You, with you it. don't know exactly what's affecting the change. Exactly. Right. So, so that said, I've stuck with this design and kind of modified it one change at a time. And when when I got aboard with C4, no pun intended, um, they wanted kind of a cruising all around. You know, you've got to try and fit people from my size, you know, 100 pounds to 300 pounds, right? So, you know, it's a compromise, obviously. So you add some width, thickness, and and design stability into the hull so that because obviously standing high center of gravity, you need stability. And so tried to do all of that. And so far, it's been a very successful I was going to ask you, did it work? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it seems to. In fact, um, my wife is a very, very good paddler, and, and she has a, you know, latest, greatest 19-pound or 17-pound, 14-foot board, 25 inches wide. And, and she's good enough that sometimes, you know, she'll beat me pretty good. But so far on this, being heavier and stable and all of that, I've been able to uh, stay ahead of her. So that's good. Well, I hope that's good for the marriage <laughs> as much as it is for C4 Waterman. C4 Waterman. Well, we're both competitive. So, <laughs> uh, well, she says she's not. She just says I hate to lose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to win, but I just hate to lose. Yeah. Mickey, thank you very much You're for welcome. taking the time. Enjoy yeah. the rest of the show yeah, here. Yeah, thank you very much. Scott McGregor in the C4 Waterman booth for Rapid Media TV, hoping you paddle forever. <laughs> Learn more about Rapid Media's print and digital magazines, International Paddling Film Festival, on-water events, and online store. Visit rapidmedia.com.